For over a year now, I have been using Apple's Magic Trackpad 2 as my daily driver to do everything from surfing the web to editing videos. However, as I spend more time creating more videos for this channel, I've come to realize the value of efficiency and as such made it a goal of mine to be able to make more videos of higher quality and the most effective manner possible. In order to achieve this goal, I'll not only need the right tools, but the best in class that I personally can afford. Upon a little bit of research, most of the content creation community seems to agree the Logitech MX Master 3 is the best mouse for productivity-oriented tasks, which is what led to me questioning whether the Magic Trackpad is what's best for me and my endeavors. In order to determine which is best for my needs and ultimately which I would recommend, I'm going to break this video down into three main categories, functionality, quality, and value. Remember, this is not a review of either of these devices. For the sake of time, I'll have to be relatively quick when I go over different aspects of each device. Foremost, the Magic Trackpad 2 is wrought with a wide array of different levels of functionality one can access by simply sliding their fingers across the top of the device. Because the device is made by Apple, it is obviously going to work near perfectly with Mac OS as it was created with that OS in mind. And after using the device for over a year, so far it has been my absolute favorite mouse slash trackpad solution I've been able to find thanks to how well it works with the rest of the Apple ecosystem. However, thanks to the world of tech's exponential rate of self-improvement, I felt the trackpad was getting a bit old which is what led to me purchasing the Logitech MX Master 3, a device that is also old but relatively new in comparison to the Magic Trackpad 2. The MX Master 3 genuinely surprised me in just how functional it is on Mac OS, as when I originally bought it, I had relatively low expectations as I've had bad luck with third-party mice and trackpads on Mac OS. More specifically, I expected it to be lacking in certain features like the ability to switch between tabs or access control center with ease, but boy was I wrong. Starting with the more basic functions, you can obviously left-click and right-click, move the mouse in order to move the cursor across the screen and etc. However, things got interesting when I discovered how to use gestures. Click the button on the bottom left of the device, swipe left or right to switch between tabs, up to access mission control, or down to view your apps. Everything I mentioned so far, the Magic Trackpad also does in a different way. However, the scroll wheel on the side, I'm sure you've seen by now, allows you to scrub through a timeline on a video, edit your brush size on Photoshop, or serve whatever purpose you'd need it to as it is programmable in Logitech's options application. This wheel is a great piece of tech that is both genuinely useful to a content creator like myself and entirely lacking on the Magic Trackpad, bringing its dominance into question. While I feel the Magic Trackpad feels more natural to use in conjunction with Mac OS over Logitech's offering, because of the genius way in which the MX Master 3 is able to achieve all the functions of the trackpad and have features that are entirely missing from the Magic Trackpad, I would argue for a content creator like myself, the Logitech MX Master 3 is superior in regard to its functionality. Onto the quality of these devices, starting with the Magic Trackpad, in spite of this device's very simple appearance, I absolutely love how high quality it both feels and looks in the hand. The parts you both see and feel when the device is sitting on your desk are entirely made from cold, premium feeling metal, making it both look and feel like a device that is well worth over 100 US dollars. Something I really value as the appearance of the place in which I do all my work is extremely important to me as in my experience, devices that appear premium add a level of professionalism to my desk. It's worth mentioning the bottom is made from some kind of cheap feeling plastic, giving the overall device a cheaper feeling whenever you see the bottom. But when you do pick it up, it is surprisingly heavy, giving me confidence in its overall quality. The Logitech MX Master 3 is a different story, as when I initially took it out of the box, I was surprised by just how much plastic is on the device. However, I was optimistic, as I know the weight of a mouse is different from a trackpad. You cannot just add a bunch of weights in the device to make it feel more premium, which is likely what Apple did to the Magic Trackpad. And after some use, in my opinion, it's still the exact same as I expected. In the hand, this device just does not feel like it is worth 100 US dollars. However, I do think it has an attractive appearance thanks to the designs on the plastic around the back portion, the fake metal trim around the base, and the genuine metal on both of the scroll wheels. Additionally, when I initially unboxed the device, I noticed that there's something inside that rattles a bit, making it feel even more cheap. 
However, despite these shortcomings, I do think this device will last for the years to come because it is just a mouse and will spend most of its life sitting at a desk. So plastic is a perfectly fine material to use from a material standpoint. That's not to say I would not have preferred there to be more metal because I would, but I still have confidence in this device nevertheless. So because of its more premium look and feel, I'm going to have to give the quality category to the Magic Trackpad 2. Finally, on to value, I will be doing a comparison from the standpoint of a content creator. Starting with the trackpad coming in at 129 US dollars before tax, for that money you are getting an extremely premium trackpad from a company known for manufacturing some of the best trackpads on the market, which I think is a decent deal. Then for 99 US dollars, you're getting a mouse that serves all the same purposes and more as the trackpad with its extra scroll wheel and undo and redo buttons, but it does have lesser quality. Something I will be reminded of every single time I use this device as almost everywhere my hand comes in contact with is made entirely of plastic. At the end of the day, in spite of its quality shortcomings, I think the Logitech MX Master 3 is a better deal because it works with macOS arguably better than the Magic Trackpad 2 for a lesser price because of the added buttons and scroll wheel on the side. In conclusion, when I was planning on making this video, I was expecting the Logitech MX Master 3 to be a great little device that I no doubt liked, but ultimately not more than the trackpad as I absolutely love that device. However, thanks to its superior functionality and content creation, I will be switching from the Magic Trackpad 2 to Logitech's offering in the premium mice market. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing as only 1% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small content creator, any support really does help.